Hello and welcome to the Art of Online Marketing live show. Today we're going to be talking about confidence in your live video. So my name is Denise Allison. I am the owner of Stratigro and I help you grow your business with social media and live video. So I spent the better part of this year talking about using live video to grow your business. And one of the biggest objections that people seem to have is something along the lines of, I can't go live, I'm an introvert, or I'm shy, or I, I don't have a bubbly personality that leads me to be able to do live video. But I, I totally understand because I'm an introvert too. So today I'm gonna give you some tips on how to, uh, how to appear confident on live video, even if you are an introvert. So let me know in the comments if you have ever gone live before. Let me know with a yes or a no. And before we get into it, I have a brand new free online training coming up that I want to be able to share with you first. And it's called Beat the Algorithm, Get More Visibility, Engagement, and, and leads with live video. So I will be putting the link in the comments. So if you are, are watching on, on Facebook or in one of those places, the link will be somewhere below. If you're watching on Instagram, you can get, you'll be able to get that link in my bio once I go update it after I'm live. <laughs> All right, so let's get into today's topic, how to be confident on live video, even if you are an introvert. So live video is similar to doing a talk or a presentation and generally speaking in front of, of a crowd or an audience. So when you present your knowledge with confidence, you come off as an expert, you come off as knowledgeable and people want to listen and they want to learn from you and they want to hear what you have to say. If you come off as non-confident or quiet or shy or generally like you're lacking confidence in what you're saying, your audience isn't going to see you as the expert that you are. So obviously, I want you to come across as super confident in your live videos so that you can create an audience of raving fans for your business that keep coming back to watch week after week. So. If you're an introvert or you're shy or you're generally lacking in the confidence department, you might be thinking that live video is not a medium that is meant for you. And that is totally not true. Live video can be a, a great tool for you, even if you're introverted and even if you're a little bit shy. So today I'm going to share with you a few tips for, for appearing confident and being confident on my video. So I'm an introvert and I'm here every single week sharing content with you. And do I come off as confident? I hope so. All right. On Facebook, I am looking a little bit glitchy. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's not doing that on the actual feed, but that is what I'm seeing. All right. So let's get into it. Number one. Planning, and I know this one seems to come up often, but one of the biggest fears for introverts, at least for me, is not knowing what to say. There's all these thoughts happening up here, but, but they're not always translating and coming out of my mouth. They're happening up here, but they're not always being communicated. So that's okay, but it just means that when you are speaking either to a person or to a group, what happens is you're not sharing everything that you're thinking. You are basically sharing the bare minimum because you're being put on the spot and you panic and you just share what needs to be shared. And then after you have all these great thoughts and ideas of, oh, well, I should have said that. That would have been the perfect response or the perfect thing to say uh, to that. And then you're like, ah, oh, damn. But <laughs> when you're doing a live video, you are in control. It's not a conversation where the other person can ask any single question under the sun and put you on the spot. And it's not a presentation where the audience members can ask a question that you're not necessarily prepared for or that comes out of the blue. So it's up to you. You get to talk about exactly what you want to talk about. So the best way to get over that 
fear of being put on the spot and not knowing what to say is to plan what you're going to say and, and plan your content in advance. So it helps you feel more confident because you know exactly what it is you are going to say and talk about and, and you're going to cover all of those important points in your video. You're not going to be put on the spot. You are going to be running the show and you are going to be talking about whatever it is that you want to talk about. Okay, next is your live video persona. So one thing you might not know about me is that I am a part-time comedian. So I'm in a local improv group and and um, we do do shows here and there um, in, in town. So I'm willing to bet the most of you have watched some type of, of comedy at some point in your life. It might have been a stand-up comic, might have been a sketch show, it might have been just the beginning of Seinfeld where he's doing the stand-up. But um, one thing that you might notice, especially during stand-up, is, um, is the, the character. It's a big character. So what comedians do is they create a persona. They have a, a comic persona uh, that they've created for themselves. And this is just a stage personality uh, that, that they get into every time they go on stage. So the persona is an amplified version of themselves. It's not a different character. It's not somebody else. It's just who they are, but but bigger. So when I first started doing live video, I decided to create my own live video persona. So I encourage you to do the same thing. So uh, it doesn't mean that you're going to be acting like somebody else. It just means that you are going to take you and you are going to make it a little bit Bigger. So, so that does a couple of things. So one, just remember, it's incredibly important to still be you because authenticity is, is a big part of your live video. But when you create your live video personality, it does two things. It helps you get out of the, the mindset of, oh my gosh, people are going to judge me because you're being a characterized version of yourself. The second thing is by being a little bit bigger, you are being a little bit more entertaining than if you're just talking like this to the video, uh, to the camera. Uh, so it, it helps everything come out a little bit more. So for me, this has become a habit. But when I first started doing live video, I would just tell myself that I was the, the version of me who loved being on live video and loved having people all over the country watch me be live. And it really, really helped because when you are confident, you, you come off as an expert and you come off uh, as you're confident in what you are saying. So it really does make a huge difference. And, and like I said, now it's become a habit, but I can definitely see the difference in the videos where I, um, I was doing that confident thing and in the videos where I'm a little bit less confident, maybe I'm having a bad day or something like that. I can definitely see the difference, one in the video quality but two in the video views so it is something that that people are able to better engage and it's more entertaining for them if you're able to to come off a little bit more confidently all right so it's easier than you think you just need to again put yourself out of your head a little bit and come up with an amplified version of yourself as your live video persona number three practice. So, you know, you aren't going to get away from this video without me saying practice. So practice is the best way to improve your, your live video presence and therefore improve your live video confidence. And that's because being live isn't really a natural thing. I mean, we weren't born with like selfie stick arms um so being on camera is just kind of a weird thing that you're not going to feel natural doing when you first get started because it's not it's really weird you're like seeing yourself talking and it's really weird and terrifying so you're not automatically going to be great uh, you want to practice so going live can feel really weird so the more you can practice the better arf uh, off you arms yeah. Okay, so most likely your videos are going to start off being crappy. 
And I don't say this to scare you. I say this because you're going to go live and you're going to watch your video and you're going to be like, man, that was crappy. And I don't want you to feel bad because everyone's videos when they start off are generally crappy, except maybe like 1% of people. So it's not you, it's just how it is. So I want you to know that that is okay. But because we're talking about introversion today, this is how I want you to practice. So before you even think about going live, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take your phone, turn on the camera mode, and pretend that you are going live. So you're going to prepare your your um, live show. You're going to write it all out. You're going to write out your points. You are going to turn on the camera on your phone and you are going to record yourself as if you're doing a live video. So you're going to go all the way through without stopping as if people were watching and as if you were live. And then you're going to press stop once you're done and you're going to delete it. <laughs> and then you're going to do that again. And that time you're, you're going to watch it and you're going to watch to see what is happening in that video? So are you saying um too much? Are you looking in a weird place? Is your background okay? So you're going to check for things like that, but don't be too critical. The point is to find things that you can improve, but not to like pick at it to, to death. So find a few things that you can improve to make you seem a little bit more confident so if you're slouching down like this then maybe you want to sit up straight or if you keep looking at your notes too much then try to memorize them a little bit more so the point is to find a few things that you can improve and then you are going to record yourself again and keep doing that so again don't dwell on this take a few days to do that and to practice and then once you feel feel okay with it then you are going to go live with that content. You've practiced it. You've practiced being on video. You've practiced like talking to yourself and seeing yourself moving and talking in, in your um, phone, in your phone's camera app. So that will help get over the weird feeling of like, oh, I'm talking to myself and this feels really weird. So I help you get over that a little bit. Okay. So number three, practice. And then bonus tip is announce that you are going to go live. So I generally announce that I'm going to go live, but I also go live at the same time every single week. So now I'm just obligated to do it. I can't not go live because you're all expecting me to go live and that external accountability can go a long way. And I've seen a lot of people do things that they did not want to do, because of the external accountability that they have created. So if you're a little bit nervous to go live and you think that you might just not do it, announce on your Facebook page or Instagram page or wherever you're going, gonna go live, announce that you're going to go live and the date and the time, and then you have to because people are expecting it. Okay. So there you go, three tips and a bonus tip to, to be confident on live video. So again, that was planning your live video persona, practice, and the bonus tip was announce that you're going live. All right, so thank you for being here with me this week. And a reminder that I have a brand new free online training happening on September 27th at noon called Beat the Algorithm, Get More Visibility, Engagement, and Leads with Live Video. So I will be sharing that link in a minute so that you can head over there and, and sign up for it. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I will see everyone again next week on another episode of The Art of Online marketing.